Dear Jeremy, this will be a great day. We may be cooking alive in the great concrete oven called Dallas. Your Pantene-worthy curls may be encased in a few centimeters of hairspray, and should tradition hold my veil, will likely fall off halfway down the aisle. But nevertheless, this will be a great day. With our friends and family, we will share deep laughs and resplendent food. We will dance like adults and watch each other's eyes light up with a love not just for one another, or the incredible people surrounding us, but for life itself and all the many thousands of possibilities it's given us. Yes, this will indeed be a great day. Not the first for us, nor the last. Simply the most upcoming in a very long string of great days. We finish but one leg in life's race together, and to springboard into cliché, this is only the start of our next adventure, the launch pad for our next deep dive into the stars. This is the beginning of the rest of our lives, and I am positively giddy to spend mine with you. Dear Emma, we made it. For all the boxes and application and house guests and planning, we did it. You're the light of my life, excuse the cliche. We share everything, we hold each other to account, and we communicate so much and so often. I love how you've brought me the gift of being able to actually critique something and enjoy it. I love the intensity you bring to your creative pursuits. You are so beautiful to know. You have a gift for empathy with our friends that I do my best to emulate. I'm so happy that we found each other and that I get to marry you. I'm ready to spend the rest of our lives being a collective noun. There's a place in my soul where few things live. It's where I go when I'm stressed and I breathe deep. It's the thing that got me through Guildhall, through wedding planning, and through lots and lots of stressful things my entire life. You live there now. You are part of that place in me forever. It's my favorite addition yet. Yours, literally, and forever. My friends, we're gathered together here to witness the uniting of Jeremy and Emma in holy marriage. A charge to the couple. I ask you in the presence of God and these people, do you declare now your intention to enter this union with each other? Emma, will you take Jeremy to be your husband? Jeremy, will you take Emma to be your wife? To live together in the holy state of marriage? Will you love each other, comfort each other, honor and keep each other in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep yourselves to each other so long as you both shall live. I will. Take thee, Jeremy, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until parted by death. I love you. 
I promise to keep loving you. Even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. I promise to give you time to wait when you need to compose your thoughts, to give you the benefit of the doubt. I promise to talk to you. I will not shut you out. I promise to be your loudest supporter, your shield and your partner, your backup and lifeline. I promise to be your calm refuge. I promise that in everything we do, I am on your team. I promise you that I will walk beside you always. Friends, now that Jeremy and Emma have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, they have joined hands, they have given and received rings, I announce that they are now united in love. Sir, you may kiss your bride. It has been such a blessing to be Jeremy's best man today. Today we continue a tradition that began a little over 29 years ago when my father served as my best man. I would like to offer a toast to the newly married couple. Everyone raise your glass. Jeremy and Emma, may you have the same good fortune and love that have gotten your mother and I through all these years. May you always love each other and be full of patience and understanding. Be honest and loyal and good to each other, and I hope you make each other laugh until you cry. Never let each other go. To Jeremy and Emma.